this is how you go about resetting an EPC 3000 series controller in the field. So uh, maybe somebody got in, pushed a bunch of buttons, changed the password, so forth, and uh, no one's exactly sure what's going on. So you can reset this in the field. So first, um, left button's called the page key. Hold that page key down. Just keep holding it until you see level three. Then hit your up arrow and it'll go to config. Hit the enter key and enter code 0004, enter, and now you go into configuration mode. <clears throat> so by toggling the page key, you want to get to your instrument list. And I'll show you a trick too. So quite a few button pushes. And it's easy, in this case, to overshoot that, that parameter. So if you overshoot it, hold your page key down and hit the up arrow, and it backs it up. Anyway, once you're at the uh, instrument list, hit your enter key, and then up or down, go to security. When you hit security, hit enter. Hit enter enter. When you get to configuration passcode here, just hold the up arrow down and you're going to enter four nines, which takes a few seconds, but the longer you hold the button, the quicker the numerics increase. So we got four nines, hit enter, hit enter again, hit it again, clear memory, yes. When I hit clear memory, you can either hit the enter key or wait. It'll reboot and it'll come back up as if you took it out of the box for the first time. And then you get to your quick code. So in this case, um, uh, we did a whole other video on this, but I'll run through. So you can enter the type of uh, this heat only, your thermocouple type, your range, uh, your digital input functions, or second, in this case, I've got a second thermocouple input, so I'll set it to J. Again, range. And then I'm going to skip this. We've got another video covering this. Anyway, we're going to toggle through this. Exit, yes. So the next one will be, it will pop up. It's going to ask me for a comm setup. So in this case, if I want to set up my Ethernet Modbus, it's there, and you can do the address. There's the Ethernet. Auto Discovery, we're going to turn that on, and we're going to exit. So now this thing has been cold started and completely set up using the quick code. If you want to go in and use iTools, you can obviously do a lot more with it, but the uh, controller is pretty much in uh, a refreshed state. Anyway, I hope that was helpful.